Okay, good morning, everybody. My name is John Casbaro. I'm president of a nonprofit organization called Learning for Success. And it's been our privilege uh, to work with, uh, with Ms. Zapata, your students in AVID and uh, Key Largo School for several years now. And uh, we wanted to celebrate uh, our, our uh, relationship again this year uh, by uh, presenting two awards to you deserving students, Connor Dixon and Sasha Gadia. Uh, for incredible essays that you wrote about your experience with the AVID program this year. Uh, they are uh, presented uh, on behalf of Publix Supermarkets. Uh, they are the sponsor of the awards. And uh, we were just talking, uh, Mr. Pace, Pace? Yes, Pace. Uh, that uh, earlier this year, I'm not sure if you were on the, uh, uh, on the call, uh, we brought in a woman uh, virtually from Public Supermarkets who... Uh, who manages the uh, hiring, uh, hiring for about 300 public stores all over the Southeast. And, uh, and it was quite an enlightening experience. Uh, Connor was uh, talking about uh, uh, his expanded understanding now of what Publix uh, does. Can you say more about that, Connor, while Mr. Pace is with us? So I was just saying that how I didn't realize how Publix was so big and how they needed everyone in any department and how they hire anyone. So there's really... Publix will hire anyone to do anything for them in their own like little world, pretty much. How about uh, you, Sasha? What do you remember much uh, from the Publix presentation? How, how did it uh, work for you? Um, it was pretty good. I remember that she said that Publix mainly focuses on education. So if you need like less hours for work, then that's fine. They'll work out a schedule or something. And Publix really cares about the. Uh, <laughs> for now, I think that's all I have. I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. I, I wanted to add, recall for you also, you know, that she mentioned that, uh, that, that they will pay a portion of your college tuition uh, when you're in school. If you're, if you're working at one of the stores, it's, uh, and, and of course, uh, pay to, to train you and, and all the different uh, possibilities of jobs that they have uh, uh, with their company. So it's a pretty good deal, and I, I was happy that we could we could bring her uh, to you. You know, um, uh, Ms. Zapata and I were talking last week about uh, the the uh, <laughs> the effects of the pandemic, uh, and you know, to me, uh, there were some some wonderful opportunities that uh, that ensued uh, from that, and and one of them was this this uh, this learning that uh, this capability of bringing people together virtually. Um, now, uh, uh, this woman, uh, uh, Chris uh, Benatti uh, from Publix, uh, is based in Stewart, Florida. Uh, the likelihood of bringing her down to Key Largo uh, uh, to, to make her presentation was very unlikely. <laughs> uh, and so to, to have her be able to come on and, uh, and, uh, and develop a whole virtual presentation uh, that not only uh, expose the students to the jobs at the stores, but their their uh, manufacturing, distribution centers, IT center, uh, business center, uh, was was really uh, something that we we never ever did. And we've been working with Publix for over ten years. And uh, before that, we were just bringing the students into their stores, you know, as a field trip. Uh, and so that was great. You know, they got to see the store and and but but meet also meet the people that work there and learn about their jobs. Uh, but but the, it, we never really did get into what a huge company it is and all the, all the other possibilities for working there. So uh, so we, we'd like to continue that uh, uh, those virtual presentations, I mean, as well as bringing people in live uh, in the future. Uh, That'd so, be great. We'd love we'd love to have that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, thanks. Um, because again, there there were people even last year, uh, Ms. Zepeda, that I was trying to get uh, uh, who uh, never we never really quite were able to connect with. Um, and and uh, were we to be able to offer them the possibility of, of doing the presentation virtually rather than, you know, it's such a long trek for some people if they're based in Marathon or whatever, you know. I mean, we're talking about the major portion of a day. Uh, to get back and forth to the school, that's that's quite a commitment for almost anybody. So the idea of coming in virtually, uh, we think, will continue to create opportunities for the students uh, to, and you 
you know, to uh, connect with people that, that may otherwise wouldn't have been able to do it. So that's great. I can't wait. Yeah. So, well, let's go on now and talk more about our students, Connor and Sasha and your essays. Uh, how about if we start with you, Connor? Uh, I, I noticed that you talked about uh, the opportunity in AVID class to share your feelings. Uh, how important was that to share your feelings during your AVID classes? So I think middle school is like Miss Zepeda, and I've heard a lot of people say it's one of the most stressful times, middle school and high school. And Miss Zepeda was one of the few teachers in our school that actually cared about like our feelings and like if we were stressed and AVID actually helped us de-stress. So if we ever just needed a break to just take down notes or like take a break and learn about like career opportunities like Publix and, and learn about everything like that, AVID was the class to go. And I was never not wanting going to AVID class. It was always one of the best parts of my day just to talk about how we felt or yeah, do all that. Ah, okay, great. Well, tell me, uh, and please uh, let me know about this. Uh, how, how will what you learned in AVID help you with your future? How so I think what, one of the big yeah. things that Ms. Cepeda taught us. Yes. How so one of the big happen? things that we were taught is how to just plan ahead. So one and of the big things we were taught is just how to plan ahead and do all that. Okay. So how, how important is that? I mean, how, how, how can you use that uh, uh, to help you with your future? I think we lost Connor. Sasha, what, what do you think as far as planning and organizing? Um, how, how will you use that in the future? How will that be an important part of you moving forward? Well, I will definitely use like, a lot of things you guys have taught me. Well, yeah, even the students have taught me a lot. How to present myself like <laughs> ethically, I guess. Well, I'm trying. I get nervous, but I, I get told to, it's okay, move on. I get second chances. I learn to communicate better with others and I get to learn how to manage my time as well as what I do on like a daily basis. And so like, I will definitely be using that for like anything, jobs, family, work. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. That's wonderful. Uh, yeah, uh, you mentioned uh, in your essay how AVID helped you both socially and emotionally. I guess that's what you've been talking about. Can you say a little more about that? How did it help you socially and emotionally? Well, like I said, it has helped with how I communicate with others, but it has also helped with how like other perceive me, I guess. Like, <laughs> how important is that? Very, like just like first impression. Like at the first time it can be good, but it can always be better. You can always be better and put in more effort to do whatever you want to. And I'm sorry, that's all. There's an expression that has to do with first impressions. Have you heard it? I don't think so. How does that go? Uh, there, you never get a second chance to make a first impression, I think. Is that how you say it? Yeah, that's it. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. So uh, th those are huge, huge uh, 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 understandings to have uh, going forward, uh, that's for sure. So tell us more, a little bit more, Sasha, about uh, how you, what you learned in AVID this year now. How do you see it helping you with your future? How can you apply some of the things that you learned in your future? Um, I can use it to help me understand things better. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I can use it to help. Okay, good. What's an example of that? Like organization, I already said that one, but all right. organization, and I speaking can... with others, yeah, how to, um... and I'm sorry. also the future, a... I know getting a job because I've been, that's right, you have a manager job right now, oh no, did he drop? 
Yeah, I think he doesn't have a very good connection because he's at his work right now. He's in the break room. So I think oh, yeah. um, it, it doesn't have a great connection back there. But I think they both mentioned some really great things. And Sasha, for one, she, she mentioned it in her actual essay, but I thought that that was so brave of you to mention that in her essay. We had a big group of people come through and adults on campus and they were, yes. you know, evaluating our whole school. And right. Sasha was one of the speakers. And, you know, she really got a little nervous about what she was saying and she thought she let everyone down, but the whole class and, you know, Sasha and I talked and then everyone talked with her as well. And, you know, just told her what a great job she had done and how much she had grown. And I love that you, you mentioned that in your essay, Sasha, because from you being, you know, from fifth, a fifth grader talking to you and you were, you know, thinking about AVID until now, you know, the growth that you've made um, and just the confidence that you have standing in front of people and also just working with, with new people that you don't know is beautiful. It's a really amazing thing and you've done that work. So I think that was great that you brought that up because that's a huge part of growth that you've made for sure. That's yeah. for sure. And uh, you, you mentioned, you even quoted your teacher encouraging you after that. Uh, that was such a nice thing to say. Uh, okay, well, let's talk about future plans a little bit now. So Sasha, tell us about your career plans. First, I'm planning on getting a full scholarship to a college I'm not sure about yet, but okay. I'm looking forward to hopefully in England or I'll do like um, studies there. But uh, wait, thinking about how did you decide that? How did you decide about England? Well, I've always wanted to go to England because of the castles and it's really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And what do you plan on what what do you plan on studying? I'm not sure yet. That's all right. I plan on figure it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I think one day you'll see that almost, uh, well, everything that you study uh, can have meaning and purpose. Um, and, and that's, uh, that's why uh, at any time right now, uh, there's, it's not possible to say that, oh, I'll never need this. I'll never use this because uh, there's no telling. You know, when I was, uh, when I was, uh, I think in eighth grade, <laughs> I, in, in my algebra class, I remember uh, uh, learning, uh, uh, you know, about equations and uh, thinking that same thing, you know, I'll, I'll never, <laughs> when will I ever need to know about equations? And then, uh, then as an adult, uh, and I got a mortgage on my house, uh, and you know, uh, what happens when you, uh, when you get a mortgage is that, um, if, if the amount that you borrow is more than 80% of the loan, you have to pay mortgage insurance. That's called, called, it's an extra cost. And there's actually a formula, an equation that allows you to compute, you know, when you can stop paying mortgage insurance. So I called up my mortgage company and I said, Hey, I've, I've computed this. And, uh, and they said, Hey, how did you know how to do that? And I said, I learned it in eighth grade algebra. So there's, there you go. Uh, always a chance to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to use sometimes things that you may not think that, uh, that you were able to use. Uh, that sounds great. Um, uh, England sounds wonderful, Sasha. Uh, how about uh, you, Connor? Tell us about your career plans. So right now I'm already taking business courses under, I believe, I forgot the college. It's some small college, but I'm doing online business courses, and I intend to go to school for business. And I, like I said earlier, I'm already starting to open up, st like helping out in my like job right now, and making my way up to management. So I am just, I want to go to school for business. I think. So business management. Sounds yes, cool. pretty much. Oh man, sounds great. Um, as you were describing what you're doing in school, in the high school. Uh, in Broward, in the high schools where I, where I uh, work out of uh, here in, in Broward County, they, they, the high schools have a thing where as a junior and senior in high school, you can, teach, you can take high school courses in the morning and in the afternoon, go to Broward College and, and take courses. Do you guys have that there? Yes, we do. Oh, yep. man, that's fantastic. My daughter yep. did. And when she graduated yep. high school, she was a junior at the University of Florida. Yep. My son is doing that right now. He's taking math classes. Can't beat that. For the summer. Yep. Can't beat that. Save me two years of tuition. Exactly. <laughs> no, it was so. Uh, yeah, uh, Connor, ask uh, Mr. Pace about that. Uh, uh, it's it's a it's a wonderful deal, and uh, sounds like you're doing it already. And you might as well get cre college credits, uh, you know. And then uh, by the time you graduate high school, 
uh, apply them uh, right there and then maybe land up uh, being a junior in, in college uh, right after graduating from high school. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, any other things that you'd like to add, you know, about your experiences this year that we haven't talked about? How people helpful really are. I'm sorry? How people are really helpful. <laughs> They can be, that's for sure. And, and, being, and, and being open to it uh, I, can really make a difference. And that's what I read in your essay. You were open to that, uh, to that support. Um, and uh, it, that, that, was, that was your doing, you know, to be open to that. Uh, other people could, could, you know, have the same experience with other people and, and not get what you got from it. Uh, so, uh, so good job with all of that. Any uh, any last uh, words, Connor, uh, on your experiences this year and what you what you hope to take into high school now from your Avid experience? I would just like to say, from the three years I've been at Avid, it has helped a lot, and I just recommend anyone that's watching this a hundred percent take Avid. I've talked to my siblings that are going into Avid next year because I'm the oldest, and I'm kind of forcing them to do Avid, and it's one of the most useful things. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Well, I can tell you that um, that uh, your uh, award checks uh, are in the mail. I actually put them in the mail on Saturday. Maybe you'll get them today or tomorrow, or Mrs. Peta will, and uh, forward them to you. Uh, and so we hope that uh, you'll use them in, uh, to, to uh, for a good purpose, and uh, and wish you all the support and love uh, from the, the people around you uh, and your school. Uh, to further you uh, in your your plans for the future, and uh, we just want to I want to close my my part of this by saying again what a privilege it is uh, to be around you folks, uh, to work with Miss Cepeda and you students, um, and this wonderful Avid program. Uh, it's it's one of the best things that I've seen, and I work with about eighty schools all over South Florida, and uh, this this Avid program is is about the best thing that I've I've seen in terms of preparing kids for their future. So congratulations, uh, Mr. Pays, for having the program at the school um, and for having an incredible teacher like Ms. Cepeda and incredible students like uh, Sasha and Connor. You must be very proud. I am extremely proud of every one of these guys. They do an amazing job, Mrs. Cepeda and definitely the kids. They are gonna have a lot of skills when they get to the high school. That's for sure, they already do. Thank okay. you, Mr. Kasparo. Also, Sasha, I want to show you, since you weren't at school, here's your certificate. So I'll be bringing this to you along with uh, your check once I receive them. Okay. Thank you. And guys, I'm so proud of you, and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Okay, Thanks. everyone. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have Thank a great you. weekend. Have a great summer, guys. Right, great summer. summer. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye.